all right guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to math plastic in today's video we are going to look at four major things first we'll look at an open disk after which we'll look at closed disk when we finish with these two we'll then look at an open ball and finally we'll take a look at closed ball now let's start off our video by looking at what a closed disk is now to understand a closed disk we look at the two-dimensional plane so if I have my two-dimensional plane to be this where this is my x axis and this is my y axis now if i have a circle in this two dimensional plane such that the center of this circle is s naught y naught and this circle has a radius of let's say delta so delta is just the radius of this circle now given this circle if i have a set set which contains all the points inside this circle including the points on the boundary of this circle including the points on the line of this circle then i can call that set a closed disk of radius delta centered at x naught y naught so essentially this would be the set of points in this region that i'm shading this part including the ones on the circle as well the ones on the line of the circle as well all those points grouped together as a set would be called the closed disk of radius delta centered at x naught y naught now considering this same um, circle over here if i have another set which contains only the points found inside this circle so it means it will contain only the points found inside the circle but not the ones found on the the line of this circle on the circle but rather the one inside the circle the ones enclosed by the circle if i have a set of those points then i would call that uh, an open disk of radius delta centered at x naught y naught remember the first one we said this is let me clean this this is a closed disk centered at x naught y naught and this one is having the radius of delta also now the difference is that the open disk does not contain points lying on the circle only the ones inside the circle and but the closed disk contains the points lying on the circle so this one contains points lying on the circle as well as those enclosed by it so essentially if you find the intersection of this set and this set you would only be getting the set inside the the circle over here the set of points inside the circle over here which should only be the open disk of course and that's the major difference between the open disk and and the closed disk to repeat myself the open disk considering this circle over here the open disk is a set of all points in the circle in, in, enclosed by this circle over here and the closed disk is the point of is a set of all points enclosed by this circle and 
the ones on the circle as well. Now, this same concept of closed disk and an open disk can be extended to the three-dimensional plane, in which case we would have um, a closed ball and an open ball. In the three-dimensional space, instead of dealing with um, circles, we'll be dealing with a sphere. So, given, given a sphere of radius delta, And this, let's say this sphere is centered at x naught y naught as usual. So this will be x naught comma y naught. The set of all points included in this um, sphere, the set of all points enclosed by this sphere would be referred to as the open ball of radius delta centered at x naught y naught. And the set of all points enclosed by this sphere including the ones on the sphere as well, would be called the, the, the closed ball centered at x naught y naught radius delta. So essentially, if we are supposed to compare the, the three things that we have right now, so far we have an open disk. And then let's say we have closed disk. And we have open ball then finally a closed ball now if i'm supposed to compare these three things in terms of the space the points included and all of that we would have a table of this sort this would be the space and you know that this one is found in the two-dimensional plane this one is in the two-dimensional plane and this one is in three-dimensional plane this one is in three-dimensional plane and if we like to know if the, the, the set contains the, the points on the boundary. So, boundary point contained. Know that the open disk does not contain the boundary point. We know that the closed disk contains the boundary point. The open ball also does not contain the boundary point and we know that the closed ball contains the boundary point so this gives us four different sets that we can work with the open ball is a set of all points contained in a sphere give for a, a sphere of a given radius delta centered at x naught y naught the closed ball is the set of all points enclosed by the, the sphere and the ones on the sphere as well the ones on the sphere as well the surface of the sphere as well yeah that's it for this video this video is to basically give a brief introduction of the closed ball open ball closed disc and an open disc um thank you all for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like behind subscribe if you're new around here and i'll see you guys in the next one